One of the most annoying things with WordPress is the inability to replace images on your website. Like if you see here, I am using an image on the home page, then same image on about page and also on the gallery page. Let's say the same way you have used an image on multiple pages 20 or 100 times and now if you wish to change this image, it will be a hectic job. This is where the issue is. WordPress has these limitations that will not allow you to do this natively inside WordPress. So here you can just replace the image or even if you try to upload the image with the same name, it will be numbered as hyphen or dash one or something like that. Also, there are a lot of limitations for the image editing, especially you have no option for the image background removal. So in this video, I will show you an option to enable media replacement in WordPress and also features like background removal with which you can remove the image background just with a few clicks right inside the WordPress. And the best part is all this is absolutely free. So let us hover over to the plugins and go to add new. Here you need to search for enable media replacement and you will see that this plugin is by short pixels. So let us install the plugin and activate it. Now if you go to media library and check on any of the images. So I will go to this image. So if you check the options for this image, you will find a new option called replace media and simply by clicking this small button, I can replace this existing image. So I'll click on this button and it will take me to the next page. And here it will caution me that you are about to replace the media file portrait 01-1gpg. There is no undo. Think about it. So if you replace the image with this method, there is no undo. So I will go to my computer and I will just drag and drop this new image which I would like to have on my website. So if I scroll down, I will see some options for the replacement. And the first option says that this option requires you to upload a file of the same type that is JPG as the file you want to replace. The attachment name will remain the same regardless of what the file you upload is called. If a CDN is used, remember to clear the cache for this image. If you replace the file with a different file type, this might become unreadable and or cause unexpected issues. So if you check the images, the existing was a JPG image and we have added a new PNG image for it and it says the replacement file does not have the same file type. This can lead to unexpected issues. So we need not worry about this and for this we have the second option which says if you enable this option, the name and type of the file you are uploading will replace the old file. All links pointing to the current file will be updated to point the new file. So we will select the replace the file, use the new file name and update all links. The next option is for the date and here we can replace the date with the current date or we can keep the date as it is or we can have a custom date set for the upload. So I will keep the date as it is and hit the upload button. Now it has started the process and you will see a success message for the file replacement. And here is the new image. We have successfully replaced the old image and now we will update this image. So here you will see in the media, we have successfully replaced the image with a new image. Now let us go to the website and check if the same image is appearing on all of the pages. So here is the home page. On the about page, you will see the image has now changed. 
Now let us go to the gallery. So in the gallery also, we have replaced the image successfully with this technique. So with this technique, you can replace the image and change it all over on your website with few simple steps. Now let us see the most interesting feature of this plugin. And for this, let us add a new image. So I will just drag and drop this image. And here is the image. So let us click on it and see the options that are available. And here you will see a new option which is remove background. And if I click on this, it will take me to the next page. And here you will see some options. And the first option is transparent or white background. Or I can also have solid background for the image. So I will click on preview and it has started removing the background from the image. So now you will see an image without a background and it is very simple and with a few click I can simply remove the background and replace the image that I had originally uploaded on our website. Now let us check out if we can do the same thing on existing image on our website and for this let us select this image and it has a background on the left and right hand side of the picture. So let us click on edit with Elementor and go to the image gallery. Open the image and you will see the option to remove the background of this image. So let us have the same option transparent white background and click on preview. So here you will see the background is now removed and now you can simply replace this image by clicking replace. And now let us update this image. Now the image is updated and I can view this image on the website. Go to gallery and you can see that the image has no background now and we have successfully removed the background from the existing image on our website. So with this plugin, it is very simple that we can also remove the background of any image that we have uploaded on the website. So hope you like this video and if you have liked the content, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for all my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and take care.